While the majority of Mexican travelers arriving in Canada to work, visit family, travel, or study, we have faced a rising number of asylum claims from the region. In 2023 alone, asylum claims from Mexican citizens accounted for 17% of all claims made that year from all nationalities around the world. Most asylum claims from Mexico are either rejected by the Immigration and Refugee Board of Canada or withdrawn or abandoned by the applicant. And so a change was needed. What we're seeking is a balance in the flow of people between our two countries and a recalibrating of resources here in Canada. Canada's visa policy decisions are made in an effort to support travel and people-to-people -people connections while maintaining a safe and orderly migration system. As of today, at 11.30 p.m. Eastern, Mexican citizens will need a visa to come to Canada or obtain a valid electronic travel authorization if they hold a valid U.S. non-immigrant visa or have held a Canadian visa in the past 10 years and are traveling by air on a Mexican passport. Mexican citizens who meet these conditions will be able to apply an ETA for an ETA instead of a visa to fly to Canada. We're enhancing and strengthening the electronic travel authorization program while ensuring Mexican citizens can still enjoy coming to Canada to work, to visit, uh, or study. With the high number of our Mexican clientele currently holding U.S. visas, those that do will continue to be able to fly to Canada without a visa. The majority of Mexican citizens then will still be able to travel using an ETA. These new requirements will allow Canada, Canadians uh, to continue to receive Mexican business people and travelers. This also means that Mexican passport holders will have their existing ETAs cancelled. They will need to apply for a visa or reapply for an ETA if they meet the new requirements of today. This will not apply to those who hold a valid work permit or study permit for Canada. They'll be able to continue to travel with their existing ETAs until it expires, as long as they're traveling by air, of course. We will also be expanding the visa application centers in Mexico to better serve clients who may now require a visa to come to our country. And for more information, we have IRCC web pages in English, French, and in Spanish, of course. It is not something that has necessarily been a, a tightly guarded secret, but because we want to make sure that people don't game the system, it has to come into effect quite quickly. Uh, and so in normal circumstances, you could probably do a press conference like this two weeks before an announcement and the effective date. But because of, let's be honest, the reality that bad actors can abuse the system and continue to do it, uh, we have to have the shortest window of time between the announcement and, and, and the effective date, which is 11.30 tonight.